Voice and Gaming Hot Topics, Hot Tweets with Spiciest Memes. I'm Marissa Roberta. Marissa Roberto, and I'm Broody Mans, and you know how this show works. Producer Tyler's got two minutes on the board for each topic, and we will present and possibly argue. Luckily for all of us, there is a mute button <laughs> right here <laughs> for us to use to shut the other person up. Okay, yeah, shout out to chat. We like it when you call us out when we're wrong and praise us when we're spitting true. So let's get to it for our first story. Well, not all is well in the land of competitive Fortnite. Oh, Big surprise. surprise. The Fortnite Celebrity Pro-Am is going to take place in LA from June 15th to 16th. The problem? The final week of online duo qualifiers for the Fortnite World Cup is set to take place at the same time. So you can see why people like Ninja and Cloaksy aren't happy about it. They want the World Cup qualifiers delayed a week, but so far, Epic has been quiet on the situation. Brody, <coughs> yes. hmm, how poorly has Epic been handling all of these Fortnite hmm, controversies? I don't That's know. a loaded question. At this point, I'm not believing that any of this is unintentional. Oh, uh, you know, you know what the way I, Here's my conspiracy theory on this situation. Let's hear it. Is I think that uh, Epic is doing this on purpose to reduce the amount of pros playing in it to maybe have some more other talent shine in mm. the qualifier tournaments and mm. get some unknown faces and now you have extra new fresh storylines mm. that you can promote at your tournament and it may qualify. Okay, I mean, you might have something there, or it could just be like, no, they're going to run their own schedule of things, and if you <laughs> yeah. can't do it, like, too bad for you, where Fortnite, deal with it. I, I mean, I feel like, well, then say that. Be like, no, nah, we ain't changing. We're Fortnite. Deal with it. I don't no, know, it's, just, like, it's weird that they've been quiet on it. I guess they have to come up with a prop, appropriate response, probably have to go through legal and all that, but like, yeah. uh, uh, it's being quiet makes it seem a little you sketchy. Can't, okay, but also when you announce something, you announce dates for something, and then mm -hmm. there's always going to be pushback no matter what, because there's yeah. this clashing with many different things, okay? You can't just like, because Ninja and Cloaksy are mad, well, we're going to change our schedule. Top now. player like, privilege. Like, no, that, that's, that's the thing. I love, I do love Epic, and I do love Fortnite, because they don't seem to care about top player privilege. Well, it's because they and don't care about esports as its no, own thing. I don't think that's the case. I think they haven't figured out their formula yet, and they need to figure it out on their own time, on their own dime, figure and not it. worry about what the naysayers are going to say. And that's exactly what these guys are doing. Yes, they have a huge audience that could, I guess, taint their brand in some way, but people are still, even though so many of them complain, and there's been so many of these complaints from these pros constantly, Fortnite hasn't changed. Have you noticed? They're still doing their own thing, mm -hmm. and they're still making money. So maybe their voices don't really matter. I, I don't know. Maybe eventually. I mean, they did bring in Nanzer, so maybe that'll eventually change things. But right now, it doesn't surprise me that this is happening. Okay. <laughs> At all. Elsewhere, though, in Fortnite, the Twitch account for popular Fortnite streamer and Face Clan member High Sky has been removed, at least temporarily. High Sky is one of the youngest streamers in the world, and when Face signed him last year, they said he was 13 years old. But Tifu alleged that High Sky isn't 13. He was only 11 years old when he signed the contract. Since Twitch's terms of service prevents anyone from uh, the age under 13 from creating an account, it looks like they're investigating to see if these allegations are true. Hmm. I feel like it shouldn't take too long, but more said, like, do you think? Off the top of your Twitch is making the right call. Um, uh, I, I, I would say yeah, yes, but. Yeah. I mean, if that's the rule, then they gotta stick to the mm -hmm. rule, right? You can't just like change rules for people. That's not right. The, the thing though is where it can get sketchy is if he is now 13, are you able to retroactively punish someone even when it wasn't the kid's fault? If he's 13 now, Technically, he's following the terms of service. He wasn't then, but you didn't catch him then. Yeah, so should you not then be punished for breaking the rules at one point? I don't think so. You don't think so? You just said yesterday that you're, it's only cheating if you get caught. Exactly, and he so, didn't get caught, and now he yeah, can't get caught because he's of age. Mm, no, but he did get caught, so then he is labeled a cheater in a way. Uh, so now he needs he to be didn't re get reprimanded. He, he they're, still, did. they're still investigating. They don't know. They don't know. They can't check an ID that's, somewhere. I know that's the thing. It's like, can you just like, be like, hello? how old is he? <laughs> right? Yeah. But uh, you know, I, 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 it's it's already over. That's the past. Is the past. You missed that. It's not. It's not over. It's not yeah. over because you can, you have to have some kind of redemption here. This kid has to like somehow, like you can't you can't do stuff like this and get away with it. Because but is it the kid's fault or is is this is Faze's fault? Well, it's definitely it, it is Faze's fault if they knew for sure he was 11 and still trying to push him as a 13 year old. But what if the kid it, lied? I guess they should have looked it up. But yeah, but of still course. like, what you, if the parents lied? Okay, and that's another thing too is that like if Faze has these ridiculous contracts, like these super thick, you got to read. 
everything contracts, and they definitely had to give one to this kid, mm -hmm. which means this kid had to give it to his parents to sign. Like somebody yeah. along the way, like somebody along the way to sign knew that. they yeah. were lying. Exactly. And there's been lie upon lie upon lie to cover for this kid who's 11. Like, yes, he's really good. That's awesome. But if you want to keep him, fine, retain him at the age of 11, but he can compete until he's 13. So you got to eat that cost until he can. That's probably why this investigation is going to take a little bit longer than just asking for his age to see whose fault it was along the way to see if High Sky should be banned or allowed well, to stream. Well, it's everyone's fault. Everyone that's been lying for him, that it's their part of it. I say let the kid stream. Okay. If he's 13. I say punish him. Okay, the Overwatch <laughs> League returns this week, and a new system is in place for the match of the week. Instead of having the match happen at a random time, each highlighted match will take place on Sunday afternoon. Yet, all of the matches of the week are decided before the stage even begins, meaning you could get a match of the week that could have little importance to the league itself. Brody, mm -hmm. do you think OWL should be, I don't know, a little more flexible with Match yeah. of the Week? Or, okay, or should they not exist in the first place? Uh, no, Match of the Weeks are really good because okay. it just as an eSport, it helps you push. I mean, like at Rocket League 2, we do a Match of the Week. It's something that we think is going to be important, something that we think is going to have a lot of implications. Now, it could be based strictly off history of these teams. Well, we haven't seen them face off for this long or whatever. Last time they did, this is what happened, or a new roster change. Or it's because whatever team wins this, gets into you know regionals or the finals or whatever yeah. it is so usually it's important uh, to wait mm -hmm. and find out now i get they're probably trying to figure out you know okay we're, we're losing viewership numbers at this time so we mm -hmm. need to put match of the week here so people watch or something yeah. kind of like a hype cap off i guess maybe to yeah. the stream but deciding it ahead of time and having zero flexibility to me is a bit of a, a just a an oversight when it comes to the show i mean like in, in RL too, Gibbs is great for this. Gibbs knows the numbers, man. He knows the inside mm -hmm. out, and he'll help reschedule um, the schedule at the end of uh, the season for the last week of league play mm -hmm. to make sure the most likely scenarios will play out the right way. Okay. Because he wrote the script and uh, the, mo the most way for the most hype. Because it is a show. You're putting on a show for people, right? That's, that's so fine. you have to make sure that's important. And it's not boring. No, I I completely understand that. But I also don't like like Overwatch does this with other things too. Even their I hate how they vote for their MVP for the it's supposed to be for the middle of the season, but they mm -hmm. vote for the MVP after just stage one. It, that doesn't make any sense to me. They have to they should play both stages before that vote comes into effect. But they're trying to do it to set up the show, right? It's all like pre-planned. Well, if you have an MVP planning. of stage one, but then you have an no, MVP no, of the overall season? No, no, MVP of, of the, until half of the season. So you have, to, you have to still play stage two to determine who that MVP should be. It, they're trying to force, because so esports and, and the production is all about storylines. It's all yeah. about generating something that you care about watching. Traditional sports are the exact same. But if you're trying to force those storylines, maybe your esport doesn't have good storylines in the first place. Well, they have to create them because they're new. Uh, they shouldn't be that forced. Okay. That is weird. <laughs> I don't know. Legendary fighting game pro Daigo Umahara has a new controller, and some people don't like it. Daigo is using a custom hitbox controller where the joystick is replaced with buttons that are similar to the buttons used to input attacks and is also much easier to use than the normal hitbox. This means that he can input complex attacks faster than a normal arcade stick, and some organizers and players want the controller banned completely. In fact, that's exactly what happened. Mm. Combo Breaker banned that specific hitbox a few weeks ago, and other people are asking other organizers to do the same thing. Yeah. Now, I believe the regular hitbox is still fine. It's mm. just the specific one uh, that, that isn't allowed now. I, I, I don't want standardization, but I wonder how you feel about standardization of controllers in video games, in esports. I'm sorry, why would you not want standardization of controllers? Because there might sense. be unlocked potential. Okay, unlock potential for one individual. If you're going to have unlock potential, everybody at that tournament also gets to use that unlock potential and has had practice with that unlock potential. You can't have one player that has something special and everyone else just has whatever. Well, that's what I'm saying. If it's, a, if, if it's a, a tool that anybody can get their hands on, then why not? You know, it's like it's like trying to like tell me if I want to go to a tournament and use my own mouse that I want to use that mouse because maybe it feels a certain way and with an, a, another mouse, maybe my, it slips out of my hand or something mm. or it's just the DPI is not as great. Who knows, right? Like, mm. uh, I want to use my tools because I've trained on those tools and my muscle memory is on those tools. Of so if course, you're but it, okay, fine. But that specific tool, you better make sure that it's okay to use in the next tournament or else you're screwed because your muscle memory <laughs> is now adapted to this tool that you can't even use. But they, they should just let everyone use their tools. Uh, uh, no. You know what? And we get great moments like this. When I ran a Smash Brothers tournament one time, this dude showed up. I really wish I, I, I got to find a picture of it. He had a controller. It was a GameCube controller, but it was also like a wheel, like it almost looked like the, the Wii wheels yeah. that they use. But it 
did this. Like it moved, the whole controller like almost folded mm -hmm. sideways and he used that to, to air dodge. Okay. So you would do this. It was almost a disadvantage, but if you're banning and standardizing controllers, you don't get those amazing moments of this dude sitting okay. there doing this, Hold up. jumping around Brody, on the stage. No, you're talking about a melee tournament, and melee is its own thing. It's, it can live in its own world. People can have customized controllers. I mean, there it's too. FGC. It's FGC, yes, but this is a different kind. What about the guy that showed up? At, and and uh, I forget his name now. He was playing on a, a uh, steering wheel. Yeah, and also playing That's on so sad, a right? guitar hero guitar. Like that is for sure possible. But this really only works in melee. You can't have. You can't have someone like Daigo coming in with a, nah, a special controller. I think it's, I, yeah, I mean, like that controller, you if you actually know, it kind of like does feel like it's cheating a bit, but if everybody can use it, why not? Okay, we got to move on here. It's time to check in with streamers in Clip It. First up, we have a clip from Lion FYD, who really appreciates the scenery in Apex Legends. Wait, is this the last circuit? Oh, look, the view is crazy over here. You're not fishing in RuneScape now. <laughs> Calm down. I dare you to jump out. <gasps> oh <my God! laughs> Did you just punch her off? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, get yeah, get wrecked. That is so good. <laughs> I don't like this. This is just like yesterday. You're, trust we nobody. can't trust anyone. <laughs> Even your friends. What? <sighs> that was so good. That was just mean. Just boots her. Like she went to the moon. <laughs> Straight up. Elon Musk, you're out of the race. She's there first. <laughs> that was good. It was all right. I, I like that one. Okay. Anyways, our next clip comes from Lord Kirk and his duet partner, 24K Brown Mall. The two might have stumbled on the next number one hit. Sitting around your computer being a slob. I wanted to be a porn star, I don't wanna be a bum. But it's hard to be a porn star when your dick looks like a thumb. <laughs> I expect to hear that on every hip hop radio station in the next week. That was, I love songs that are actually end up being catchy AF. And like super but you, you actually, yeah, and you listen to the lyrics. Super, wow. Does your dick look like a thumb? <laughs> How you know? Um, <laughs> no, you know what's funny though is that Tyler picked that clip. Uh, so projection? Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> what's that about, bud? No, it was a really, it was catchy. Yeah, yeah, I was really. It was catchy. Well, I th are you sticking it's it in our weird. ears now? <laughs> I think he loves the, it so much. I think the the bet, the bet, my actually favorite part about that whole thing was the fact that they got two streams like synced up like that. You can yeah. see added delay. That was the more impressive thing is to be able to do that because that'd be hard playing over a delay of the guitar. Oh, I would never think of something like that. Oh, Thank well, you they did. That's that why I was impressive. Table. Okay, it truly is the best time of day. We scroll the Twitters to bring you all the things the pros bless us with on their timeline. It's the best when they show us their inbox. Uh-oh. Frankie says, I don't often check my Insta DMs, but this was brilliant. The Stranger says, on February 25th, the Khaleesi of eSports, LOL. Two months later, the follow-up. <laughs> Why would you burn a city with innocent people in it? <laughs> That's actually funny. You oh, know this is one of the best DM yeah. slides I've ever seen. Okay. Yeah, so also, good. hashtag spoiler alert for anybody that cares. Oh, yeah. I think I, it's been long enough that you'll find out right now. Well, the thing is, like, that in itself was completely spoiled on Twitter. Like, if you weren't watching any Game of Thrones, I was giving so much crap to all the COD bros because they just kept spoiling. They were just talking about everything openly. I'm like, you guys, go to Reddit. Like, there are threads for this. Oh, my God. Just ruining it. So, yeah, I guess we kind of spoiled it now if you if you didn't know. So, if you guys have anything you want to uh, ruin and spoil for Marissa, get online, uh, follow her on her Instagram and Twitter, and jump into those DMs and if, No, seriously, away. if you jump in my DMs, like, Lisa, has, Lisa and I have something special um, cooking for you guys, and we, <laughs> now may, I wanna. we may be putting some of you on blast if you send us stuff in our DMs. Oh, good. Send us content. I like it. <laughs>
<laughs> Anyways, so uh, we love our good old Canadian boy Parker and Tara McKay. Even though we only visit for a little while, then it's off to Poland for that R6 casting life. The thing about traveling is you always forget to pack that one little thing. Here he is kicking himself. Where I am, Poland. Where my keys are, Canada. Joy! And then with the follow-up, of course, from mom, <laughs> and my mother just sent me a picture of my keys to Tommy. Thanks, mom. <laughs> that's that's what moms do. Now, sometimes you have moms, like in our clip yesterday, where they try to give you your space and I know. hide. And then you got a mom like this, it's like, ha, ha, you forgot Cute. your keys, you idiot! Okay, but, but you guys, like, this is just important, and Brody, you need to know this too. Keys, phone, wallet. Keys, phone, wallet. Before you it? leave anywhere, Spectacles, keys, testicles, wallet, wallet, wallet watch. watch. Yeah. Oh, is that what you go with now? Yeah. No, because you need, because you often forget your wallet all the time. You forgot it, you forget it at home, and your contacts. You, you That's why I say, the, the, whenever you leave, my, my thing now, whenever I'm leaving, at least what? traveling, is the only, everything else can be bought. It's contacts, yes. wallet, passport. Okay. And phone charger, but and these are, <laughs> but everything and else he, can be bought really, right? These are all lessons that he's learned in life. This is not like yeah. And motorcycle helmet. And mo <laughs> well, I need a license to do that. Oh, rip! He burned his own self. Okay, and now a dream immortalized in a tweet by Hungrybox. The year is 2055. I've successfully become a surgeon after quitting Melee. I hear the flat line. I've lost my first patient after 14 hours of surgery. I walk out of the room sweaty and teary-eyed. Suddenly, a Smash fan walks up to me and holds up a fist bump. You did great, man. Oh, man, you know he's feeling that loss over the weekend. That's I the love thing. The, the 14 hours, too, because it was 14 years since a, a Falcon has taken a major as well. So that, that was pretty on point. And it's actually, that was such a really good analogy, H-Box. That was like that was, a good analogy. That's a really good way to put someone in, in your mindset of how mm. that feels, yeah. right? Uh, I mean, like, obviously, it's not quite the same as losing a life, uh, but that what that is, like, you put so much work in, and then you feel so lost, you have no... How many years of grinding and grinding, and all of a sudden, you have no idea what to do in a matchup? Yeah, yeah. that's tough. That, that yeah. can mentally destroy you. Your whole life led up to that. You don't know what's going on. For sure, he's crushed. Yeah. He's absolutely crushed, but we, we love you, H-Box. You mm -hmm. know this. Somebody bring crabs. Yeah, all right. Please well, bring crabs. <laughs> make, make more crabs. Let's move on, anyways, because it is time to get to some crowd controlled. Let's start this off with a throwback to our childhood. Remember the baby bell cheese and playing Heck with the yeah. wax? Yeah. Jinx the Joker takes it to the next level, though. With a cue bone. What? I thought I was good when I made it into a ball. What? And triangles. I could make triangles. I didn't go this <laughs> I could make a cue bone. You, like, what kind of, how do you even do that? Like, you gotta, you gotta heat so it. So he would, gotta, he did admit, he, he melted it a bit first yeah. to make it a little more malleable. But of that, course. that's it, like, I, oh man, it throws back so much just sitting there. That was more fun than eating the than cheese. Than the cheese, yeah, you're right. No, just the peel I love back. cheese. I don't know if you guys know the Baby Bell cheeses. I let us know in chat if you used to have them in your lunches, because it was special. If if mom bought them and they were in that little mesh bag and they were sitting in the fridge, mm. oh, you know lunch oh, is going to be you special. You could trade those for so many other good snacks, too. Like one Baby Bell sold for like, I don't know, like two Dunkaroo. Like it was sick. <laughs> oh my god, Dunkaroos! <laughs> Rip, press F and chat for Dunkaroos. They're done, man. Are they? Yeah, I don't think they make them anymore. Why would you do this? This was supposed to be a happy section. I'm sorry. Wow, Marissa. F, F, F. Okay, we're gonna show you guys something cool. Sometimes people mod consoles for style, sometimes for functionality. Rated E Mods did this with both in mind. Behold, the GameCube Switch. And here we have it. The Switch dock works as expected. The switch lines up in it, it connects, and outputs to the TV. The original GameCube LED lights up, and the GameCube controllers can be connected seamlessly. You can even wake the console up with a GameCube controller, eliminating the need for Joy-Cons if ever Nintendo uses this feature for games. That's so sick. Like that, that's one of those ones where it's like, it's not just a home thing that you did just because you could. That one actually looks sick, and it's functionality with the GameCube ports in the front as well. That looks so freaking cool. It's so well I'm done. I'm so impressed with how people can do stuff like this because yeah. that would have taken some ingenuity. Well, that's my thing. It's like I always want to buy those after yeah. two, but they, it's so much work that half the time you like you'll message them. And they're like, I don't want to make another one. Like that was a lot of work. No, no, of course. You really know he's getting them. all kinds of messages. Oh, hands down. All kinds. He could probably sell them for a good chunk of money though. No, I'd buy one. That's, it's beautiful. I love that because I, my GameCube's honestly, it's just sitting there on my shelf. I just did a little, little. I got three. I can spare one. Excuse me. Oh yeah, because you did all your melee. Hey. I that. Oh yeah. Actually, I think one doesn't work. I can spare one. I want this. Anyways. Okay, maybe, maybe use that one to make your own and see if you can do it yourself. <laughs> no, not even close. Come on, I just Mr. ruined Science. everything. Nope. Okay. For our last post, I got a tip for skipping traffic on your daily commute. Oh. Yo, 
Yo, that's <laughs> when Bay says that her parents aren't home. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Just skirt, just flying. I love that, that you're trying to make yourself sound younger than you are. Mm -hmm. No, I actually, so that, I'm not trying. I actually just like end up using that lingo because like all of the people in Rocket League are like 15 year olds. <laughs> so I hear all this stuff and I, I just it's absorb so it and I hate it. No, like I, I know it's true. I, I, I want to be the old man yelling at people to get off my lawn, but I can't because I have to deal with all these kids. I know because we still have to, you know, remain young at heart and in mind. At heart. It's definitely not showing here. Aww, yes it is, Muffin. He's still like young Yeah, I know. I can't grow any facial hair. So he does his I'll look tall forever. He, he moisturizes and you should too. <laughs> Listen, that's it for me to remember. You can always hit us up on our social just to say hi or send us stuff to react to. We are Squad State everywhere, baby. We'll see you there.